So what is GERD? GERD stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. Now, the cool thing about medical terminology is when you break it down, it's actually really simple. So gastro, what does gastro mean? Gastro means stomach. Esophageal, what does that mean? Esophagus. So basic and reflux, you know, flowing um, backwards. So in ga gastroesophageal reflux disease, what we have happening is contents from the stomach, instead of staying in the stomach, right, or going downward through the rest of the gastrointestinal tract, it should be a one-way direction, contents from the stomach are coming upwards. They're flowing from the stomach back up to in the esophagus. And it should only be really like for the most part, a one-way street down. It should be going from the esophagus to the stomach, not back up. So that's what GERD stands for. As we can see on that second bullet point, it's the digestive, di digestive, I can say that, digestive juices from the stomach are going up instead of remaining in the stomach and you know proceeding downwards. Now, here's the thing. Oftentimes when we think of GERD, we think of acidity, too much acidity, but the nature of those contents, they may be too acidic or they may actually be too low in acid. So it could be, you know, very acidic or it might not be acidic enough. It might be too basic. So just know that GERD does not always mean that it's a hyper or too high of an acid situation. And as we'll talk about later, it may actually be the exact opposite. Okay. So our approach is going to be different based on what the nature of the contents of those digestive juices actually are.